Thank you to Squarespace for being today's video sponsor. Well, hello and welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I am having a little coffee break all by myself. I've got my paint deck out and you know that means it's gonna be a great day. I have been thinking about this video for so long and I am so excited to share it with you because it's something that I've been experimenting with in my own home and I've realized that the color brown is here to stay. I, I love that we're here together and I hope that you will hit subscribe and become a part of our House of Valentina YouTube community and family. I love it. So yes, let's, uh, let me take a sip of this and then we'll get started. I'm just gonna button that button before that gets dangerous. <laughs> There's no telling what you were gonna see. So yeah. So brown, what is going on with this color? Why is it suddenly everywhere? Brown is so big. And we've actually been talking about it on our channel for a while, but it's one of those trends that a lot of times people are waiting for it to really hit mainstream. And I think a lot of people are kind of skeptical about something that's, they're not sure whether this is gonna be a trend that's here today and gone tomorrow. Is it something that they really want to invest in? Some people are a little bit more experimental like myself, um, but you know, it's, it's fun. And it has been around for a while. And the reason why is because this is a color palette that has just, it's really spanning generations. It's spanning home interiors. It's spanning fashion. And I really believe that brown is really going to be a defining color of this generation. It's, it's literally gonna be something that we define the way that a home was put together in our decade. And I think it's definitely going to be something that will be around for a long time. I wanted to take just a moment and thank Squarespace for being our video sponsor for today. We love Squarespace. It really is a one-stop shop for creating your online presence. You can do everything from a website to a blog to a shop. You can have your portfolio. It's a great way to stay in touch with your family and friends or even start your business. We've been using it for houseofvalentina.com for years. So you can head over there and, and check it out to see all the different ways that you can use it. I loved it because it was really easy and user friendly. So go to squarespace.com and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com backslash House of Valentina for 10% off your first website or domain. I know you're gonna love it and I definitely recommend it and I will leave all the details down below in the description box. Thank you again, Squarespace, for sponsoring us. We really appreciate it. Thanks. And now back to the color brown. So what do you do? if you don't have any brown in your home. And by brown, we're really talking about the spectrum of brown. So don't be terrified that you know you have to go out and buy a certain shade of brown or anything like that. We're gonna talk through all that in just a minute about the shades, but what we're really seeing is a spectrum of browns. Everything from a warm taupe to a really, really deep, rich, like dark chocolate kind of brown. And I think that's why it's just so fun. It's it's those kind of coffee colors that we've seen back in the 90s. You remember when you've been around for a while like me, uh, in the 90s when all the Starbucks were really starting to get popular and they had these brown tones and everybody just loved them. I think it's just that sort of, I think it's just that sort of warmth that we're all just craving again and we just can't get enough of. And of course we're going to reinterpret it in a totally different way. But let me get into all of that for you. So the easiest way, if you're thinking about just wanting to jump into this trend and you're not really sure how to do it, the easiest way to do it is to start small. Small accessories are a great way to start just testing this thing out to see if it's going to even work in your own home. When you're thinking about how you wanna add it in, think about your accessories. Think about candles and vases, simple little things like a dark brown basket. It could be one that goes on your coffee table. It could be one that sits by your fireplace. You could also think about switching out your pillows. I've got, look at the brown pillows we've got. Here, let me show you this way. Back here, I've got some brown colored pillows that I've been including, and you can see how I've got kind of the spectrum, even just in my own space. And I'm really just having a lot of fun playing with a lot of those different colors and trying different tones and seeing what really just jumps out at me, but I think that the spectrum of these colors is just a real joy to play with. And so I really recommend that you just try grabbing a few accessories. You can even start at places like somewhere like Target. They've got some great items 
I've um, gotten the basket from there. The pillows are from Amazon. It's not super expensive. So as you can see, I'm just kind of working myself up to it and seeing if it's something that I'm gonna stick with. And every time I bring something home, I'm like, I love this, this is amazing. I love how it just warms everything up and it's just, it's just yummy. It's like, mm, you just feel like you could just eat it. It's so good. <laughs> I absolutely think that you should definitely consider pairing it with beige. I think that that is a trend that is huge, huge in Europe right now. And it's been really big in Europe. It's something that I've been talking about quite a bit on the channel, just trying to warm everybody up to this idea that beige is back. Some people are more resistant to it. Some people must have just had something really awful happen in their beige house. I don't know, but. I love beige. I don't have any bad associations with it myself. I think that it's gorgeous. I definitely think, just as we've talked about in past videos, that you should err on the side of a brown beige. I've got the color deck here, so we're talking about, we've been in this agreeable gray phase for a while. You can kind of see where this just kind of matches my outfit. So you could definitely go for these warmer, very brown undertone browns. So we've been hanging out with these sort of colors up here, but we're definitely starting to move back here to these at the accessible beige. And you can see the spectrum of these really, really rich, dark colors and how you can really just start to play with combining the browns with the beiges. And it just works because if you look at the spectrum, you can see how it's actually just a derivative of that color and it's just incredibly, they just pair so well together. It's gorgeous. So if you're like me, you can keep your white walls, but I've definitely been thinking about maybe adding some beige to the walls, maybe even some black, which brings up the next point of how to bring this into your home. Paint is a great way to be able to bring it into your home. So just the other day, I took some of my paint samples that I've been using to test around the house and I created some artwork for my own house. So you can start small and see if you're liking the way that it's going. You could also go big and go ahead and put that paint right on the walls. I'm definitely gonna be getting some of these darker tones. I love this griffin and these really like really deep rich colors down here at the bottom. And um, yeah, let me show you this one too, because that is agreeable gray at the top. And let's go back here to like Grecian ivory is a little bit green. And then back here, accessible beige. I'm really starting to find myself back here and I'm having a lot of fun playing with these colors. So you could paint a piece of art, you could paint a piece of furniture or spray an accessory that you have. And then if you really wanna go for it, you could also think about taking one of these colors here or maybe this spectrum here and putting it up on your walls. You might even wanna start with something small like your powder room or your laundry room. Or if you're in the midst of a big renovation and you wanna be ahead of the curve, you may just go for it throughout the whole house. I think that would be incredible. <laughs> just thinking about it, I'm like, yeah, oh, that would be amazing. Another easy way to be able to bring this into your home is to also think about your furnishings. Now I know we're going up here a little bit more in price, but not necessarily. An ottoman is a low investment. You could do ottomans, you could do them in leather, you could do them in linen, in cotton. Oh, like a deep, rich brown linen is just chef's kiss. It's gorgeous. You can upholster your sofa, you could upholster a chair. You could also think about wood tones. That's a really big part of this trend. We've been saying for a while, for about five years, that wood cabinets were going to be making a comeback. And I can't believe how many people were just like, absolutely no way am I ever doing it. And I'm slowly but surely seeing that people are really coming around to this idea of the brown wood cabinets. And I just think that they're beautiful. You can really play with those darker, richer tones and it's just incredible. You could also think about console tables, dressers, you could have stools. There's a lot of different ways that you can play with this depending on how far you wanna take the color palette. But either way, I think that furnishings are a great way to add brown to your home. And it's something that I'm definitely starting to really think through even, oh man, like some of the rattan is coming out in these dark, rich brown tones rather than those light beiges. And I've struggled through some of the beiges. I got a little bit of it in my house because I just didn't feel like it was so me. And now that we're swinging back to these dark, rich brown tones, 
I'm jumping on so fast, I can't even stand it. I'm like, I am here for this, I love it. So you guys let me know down in the comments how you feel about it. Are you just like, yes, this is like the answer to all my questions. I've been waiting for this thing that's gonna like make my home feel just so amazing. Or are you just like, no, no Valentina. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. Another great way of bringing this into your home is to switch up your rug. A lot of us have had a lot of the cooler tones in our rugs. We've got maybe a cooler gray that's got a little bit of blue. That's a pretty easy fix. I love to shop on places like Rugs USA. I've ordered a slew of rugs. If you're not following me on my Amazon Lives, go. I've got the link down in the description where you can find my storefront and follow me and you'll get like, I guess like a little bitty alert when I'm gonna be posting a live event. And I'm gonna be showing you all the rugs that I've found on Amazon. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek down in the description box of some of my favorites already. But definitely check us out there because I'm gonna test some of these in my own home. I think that browns, you could go really, really brown. You could have a little bit of brown running through whatever, whatever rug you have. There's a lot of different options and a lot of different ways depending on your style. And I think that's, I should have said that in the beginning. The fun thing about this color in particular is that it's not tied to one particular style. And I think that's why it's here to stay and it's gonna be here for a really long time because you could use this in a farmhouse, you could use this in a penthouse, you can use this in your suburban home, you can do a modern Mediterranean look with this, you could do Scandinavian. The, honestly, it's endless, the ways in which you can use this color and really incorporate it into whatever style home you have. And I think that's why it's just, it's so good. Now, what if you're doing a big renovation and you're trying to think through the upcoming colors? I know that we have a lot of builders and designers that watch the channel. I think maybe Pottery Barn might watch a little bit too. I hope, maybe. But um, I see these colors really starting to come forth and I believe that what we're going to start seeing is that they're going to be in new builds, new construction. You're gonna start seeing them in a lot of renovation projects. Like I said, you'll see the wood cabinets going into the kitchen, but you're also gonna see a big switch with the floors. And that is those richer, darker brown colors coming back with some gray still potentially, but you don't have to have the gray in there if you don't want it. I know that when I did my own floors, I think you can get a little bit of a peek back here behind me. For a little while I was like, oh, did I make a mistake going like so dark brown on these floors? And in the end, I've actually been quite happy. I love those blonde floors. So if you're into the blonde floors, do not fret. You don't have to have, you don't have to have one or the other. Just because these dark browns are coming in does not mean that the light natural color is 100% out. I just think that you're going to start seeing these warmer, deeper, richer browns. You're gonna start seeing them a lot more because it's fun to grab something like this and it's really, the reason I put these into my own home over the blonde floors was I'm in the Atlanta area. This is a color that's really typical for our area and I knew that this was something that was gonna literally just last me for years and I've been so pleased with it. So if you're doing a big renovation, think about your cabinets in your kitchen, in your bathrooms. Think about those paint colors and how you can start adding some beige and brown. And also think about your flooring and maybe even the tile colors that will go with that. You're gonna, again, just see a lot of beige tone tiles coming back. We're really moving away from the stark white uh, tiles that you were seeing. I, I put beige tiles into my own bathroom and I was like, oh man. Like everybody's doing white, should I have done white? I did beige because I was seeing it in Europe and I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And it's so funny, but that dark brown cabinet and those beige tiles are really what you're gonna start seeing more. And I just needed to have a little confidence and just believe in myself. <laughs> but it's really been fun to play with those colors and for me, I'm just really enjoying them. And I think that if it's something that you really, really love, you'll feel that joy. It brings you so much pleasure and you'll just sense that you're creating something that you just, you just want more and more and more of. And then if you're on the opposite side and you just don't enjoy it, then this is just one that you just pass on and you don't worry about whether you're super on trend or not. And I think that's where the real joy of putting your home together really comes from, is discovering yourself, discovering your personal style, evolving over time. And 
I just think that's the real joy of the whole thing. I hope you find the pleasure in it as well. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I am so, <laughs> I'm so pumped up about this, I almost can't stand it. I'm like, yes, okay, where are we gonna add some more brown? So definitely hit subscribe because we are going to be sharing an, a full room tour of this space. We're gonna be sharing our bathroom that we're, I wouldn't say we're renovating, we're just kind of making some tweaks on and the bedroom, we've got a lot of stuff coming up. So make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out and give the video a thumbs up if you are excited even if it's not your color, but just excited about being able to have a place where we get to chat about things that are new and figure out whether they are for us or not. And um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I love it. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.